So you remember how I was asking you a bunch of questions about the wedding earlier? Mm -hmm. And then I told you I'd make it all better. Yeah. What are you doing? Will you marry me? <gasps> <laughs> what? One to go up top, drops it off across the middle, for that. What is going on everybody? What is going on everybody? What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here. Now normally what Treeb would be doing today is some AAF power rankings. Now I decided not to do that today because now today is the first day of the legal tampering period for NFL free agency and I'm going to be covering free agency very very hard in the Jags very very hard this week and in fact I'm thinking exclusive Jags videos this week as we cover NFL free agency and one guy that has been a hot topic has been Nick Foles ladies and gentlemen and Nick Foles is expected to sign with the Jacksonville Jaguars. He was cited in Jacksonville all weekend long. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about how much Nick Foles would want, because that has been announced as well, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Also, are the Jaguars linked up to Ryan Tannehill? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jags News Central Free Agency Frenzy. So first and foremost, the news is, is that the Jaguars are extremely expected to sign Nick Foles but everybody's been talking about the price range the price amount how much are the Jags really gonna spend on Nick Foles ladies and gentlemen you remember how a couple days ago the Jags cut four former starters apparently that reason was because the Jaguars are trying to pay Nick Foles 21 to 22 million dollars which is absolutely, positively absurd, especially if the reports have been true that there truly was not a market for Nick Foles and no one was going after Nick Foles. Why would we pay him 21 to $22 million to be our quarterback? Reports say that the Jaguars front office thinks he's an excellent leader and deserves the money. But there's no way. There's no way I would pay Nick Foles 21 to $22 million when you got Teddy Bridgewater out there that you could sign for 13 or 12 or 14 even. You know, like, he's a much cheaper option. And Nick Foles should also not be taking this much money. He should be like an 18, 19, 17 mil a year quarterback. But he's wanting all this money in the Jaguars and Dave Codwell are 115% fine with doing that. So you know what that means. You know what that means. The Jags are going to draft. I mean, the Jags are going to sign Nick Foles to the 21-22 mil a year. And they're not going to get a, a fucking rookie quarterback. <laughs> like, not until later. Not until, like, the third, fourth round. So they're going to probably draft a tight end in the first round. Because they're going to be paying Nick Foles all this starter money. And then, then they, they won't have a reason to draft a rookie. Because they're already paying Nick Foles 21 to 22 mil a year. And that's just not right. That's just not right for the Jags. Another report has been going around that Ryan Tannehill is expected to stay in Florida. Now, if the Jags are going after Ryan Tannehill, that would be completely and utterly insane. And insane for all the wrong reasons. I, would, I don't think I would rather pay Nick Foles 21-22 mil. But I'm almost willing to bite the bullet than to try things out with Brian Tannehill because this guy's been in the league four or five years now. I mean, he hasn't done much. He hasn't done anything. So hopefully when they the reports say Ryan Tannehill is going to stay in Florida, that's Tampa Bay because we we don't need all that. We don't, we don't need to just draft Ryan – I mean, to sign Ryan Tannehill because that would just be such a job war thing to do. And that's something that we don't need on our conscience. We don't need that bad juju of signing Ryan Tannehill. So hopefully, hopefully, the Jaguars do not sign Ryan Tannehill. 
And finally, to end the video, a little bit of some happy news, ladies and gentlemen, at least for me. Uh, former Jaguar defensive tackle recently released Malik Jackson has signed a contract with the Philadelphia Eagles. And I think this is a really, really good fit for Malik Jackson. I think he's going to be able to play to his fullest abilities with the Philadelphia Eagles and be able to play, uh, be a menace in the backfield, being a run stuffer. The guy still has a lot of years left in him, left in front of him. Uh, to be successful in the NFL, and the Eagles are smart by hopping on the chance to get him right away. The reason we cut him was an expensive contract, they, and we needed the cap space, I guess, to sign Nick Foles for 21, 22 mil a year. But this guy is definitely a gamer. He could go. In Philly, you definitely snatched up a really talented cat at the defensive tackle position. I couldn't be more happy for Mr. Malik Jackson. So, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you stay tuned all damn day and all damn week we are going to be bringing you free agency news as it happens ladies and gentlemen and that was jags news central what you guys think leave your comments down below don't forget you can check links down below as well you can like me on facebook at true talks follow me on twitter at trevon pixley or follow me on instagram at trevon pixley also if you haven't yet make sure you hit that subscribe button click the bell icon so you get notified every single time i drop a new video i drop new content on this channel six days a week ain't nobody at work with me them just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great day.